The first execution of a federal offender in 17 years is now on hold because of a U.S. district judge in Washington. The judge wants to hear more arguments about the government's lethal injection protocols. TV's Russ McQuaid is outside the Federal Correctional Institute in Indiana with the very latest. Russ. And a good afternoon. Some 200 Federal Bureau of Prison employees from around the country were due here in Terre Haute, Indiana. For this afternoon's anticipated execution of Daniel Lewis Lee, a convicted killer at 4 o'clock Eastern Daylight Time. But now it appears that that on again, off again, on again execution is off again. Daniel Lewis Lee was convicted of the 1996 murders of three people, two adults and a child, in Arkansas. The parents, the father was a gun dealer. It was his wife and his daughter, and that killing was part of a plot to arm and finance a white supremacist movement in the Pacific Northwest. Lee's partner, Chevy Kehoe, admitted he killed the child, but was sentenced to life without parole, a conclusion that led the former prosecutor, judge, and even the victim's family members to oppose Lee's execution as unequal punishment. Sunday night, the Seventh Circuit Court of Appeals dismissed an appeal by the victim's family, which cited coronavirus concerns as the reason why they could not fulfill their right to witness the execution. This morning, a federal judge in Washington ruled that the penitentiary's newly adopted protocol to administer a fatal injection of phenobarbital sodium to the condemned man, as opposed to the previous three-drug regimen, should be argued in court. A federal public defender, not connected to this case, says Lee's attorneys are scrambling to assemble legal arguments to delay his execution. Um, these execution dates were only um, were only entered, you know, 30 days ago. That's a really short period of time for people to prepare legal paperwork on even claims that were known. There were three more executions slated to occur here at the U.S. Penitentiary in Terre Haute between now and the end of August. Today's ruling by the judge, at least for the time being, puts those executions on hold. I'm Rose McQuaid reporting live from Terre Haute, Indiana.